what is going on ladies and gentlemen welcome back to another video today i'm gonna update you on what my horror funko pop uh collection looks like now i have increased since the last video i actually just watched the last video and oh my god i've increased so much i if you guys don't know i'm a huge funko fanatic i have near 300 pops in my collection uh, and that includes uh comic book movies comic books uh movies that i like bands horror pops sci-fi video games you name it i probably have something of that category in there uh and today we're just going to be running by and looking at my horror collection updated now i have added a lot of things i have about an entire wall dedicated to horror funko pops now keep in mind i actually added some of the heavy metal bands into my horror collection because a lot of their music reflects horror or i always listen to during like horror haunt season in october so i i consider the funko pops from the music uh genre of heavy metal horror as well but without further ado let's look into my funko collection we're going to start from my top shelf and then my wall of funkos as well so hope you guys enjoy now from the start right here, obviously we have our Split ones, we have Hedwig, and we have the Beast right here from Split. And then we go over to our next spot where we have, this is a newer one right here, this is the original Pennywise that Tim Curry played. And of course we have the It Chapter 1 uh, Pennywise's, one with him uh, in somewhat spider form and him holding a boat. Right here we have Jack Torrance from The Shining, obviously, that was one I had in my collection. A newer one to the collection right here next to the original Jason Voorhees that I had in the last video is Jason Voorhees and his hacky sack mask. Let me try to get a good shot of that. I know the light's kind of shining on it, but it says uh, Jason Voorhees Friday the 13th Part 2 look with his pickaxe and everything. And right here is a new one I got too, is the Creep from Creep Show. Obviously, uh, was at HHN in 2019 and is a great movie and great show. Uh, Betsy Ross and the Waving God from the Purge Anarchy and Purge election year and then down here This is a newer one that I just recently picked up which is Chucky from Child's Play 2 and Pinhead from Hellraiser uh, Very good uh, Pops right there and then up there Michael Myers that I got at Haunt X and Leatherface from the Texas Chainsaw Massacre wearing the uh, tuxedo and with the makeup on that I got over at Frank and Sons. Now with the last video I mentioned that I only had there was only one Killer Clowns pop. Now they came out with three others, uh, Jumbo, Shorty, and Spiky. I have all four of them. I've, of course, you guys know I love that movie, so definitely had to buy all of those pops. And right here is the wall of horror pops that I just started uh, organizing before this video. So I'm gonna take you through. I'm gonna actually zoom in a little bit. So starting off right here, we have the Sam from Trick or Treat. This was a Spirit Halloween exclusive that I had to have, and I'm glad that I bought this one. Uh, I don't know if they're selling them anymore, but I got it. And then right above it is the Demogorgon from Stranger Things Season 1. These are both 6-inch pops. Actually, Sam's a bit is a regular size pop. They just gave him a bigger box for it. And then on the bottom, obviously, I have the uh, Eleven with the Egos, Mike from the Snowball Dance, and Eleven at the Snowball Dance. Season 1, uh, Eleven right there, then Season 2 Pops from Stranger Things. And then I got Hopper, which is a new addition to the Stranger Things Pops, and uh, Billy, Flayed Billy from Season 3 of Stranger Things. Going up to the second row right there, I have a zombie Deadpool that I got from the Marvel Collector Core that's exclusive to Amazon Prime. Uh, if you guys have Amazon, definitely subscribe to that subscription. Sometimes you get really cool Marvel pops. It's a Marvel box, so it's really cool. Then I got another zombie Deadpool, uh, him kind of goozing out some like weird looking green goo. It's from the Marvel Zombies collection. Next to Zombie Wolverine, which was a Entertainment Earth exclusive. Uh, let me try to autofocus on that. There we go. It was an Entertainment Earth exclusive that I had to have. It glows in the dark, too. It looks really cool. Right next to him, I got a Zombie Red Skull, which is also an exclusive Marvel Collector Core uh, box ex from the exclusive of that month. And uh, Stephen King. I mean, obviously, the guy's responsible for a lot of horror content out there from It, The Shining, Misery, Shawshank Redemption, a lot of good stuff. Uh, up above him, we have The Nun from the movie The Nun, also from The Conjuring 2, terrifying character. A newer one that I got recently from Get Out, uh, Chris Washington, him in the chair when he's hypnotized. Uh, of course, the Xenomorph from Alien, Beetlejuice when you first are introduced to him. And uh, over there, another newer one that it's in the collection is The Monster from A Quiet Place. Going up one more right there, we have, of course, the uh, portrait from the Haunted Mansion. 
That is Constance. That's one of the portraits that you see. The girl that is holding, that is sitting on top of the tombstone with the axe on the guy's head. That's one of them. Uh, we have Mary Sanderson from Hocus Pocus. My goal is to get the other two witches, and hopefully I'll get them soon. Uh, Sally from A Nightmare Before Christmas, as well as Jack Skellington and Oogie Boogie. Uh, right up there, we have Hannibal Lecter. You know, Hannibal the Cannibal. It's a great one. I've had that one. Two new ones that I just got in the last week. Uh, Joel and Ellie from The Last of Us video games. Uh, two of my favorite video games of all time. And I had to have these pops when I saw them. They were going to be coming out. Uh, Slimer and The Fiend from WWE. Those guys. Those are the same. And now as we go up again. Let me go up. And I'll show you. Uh, this is my Slayer collection. Let me autofocus that. Uh, Carrie King. Tom Mariah. And Jeff... From Slayer. These are the pops that came out. I had to have these Slayer pops. I'm a huge Slayer fan. Seen them twice in concert. Actually, it was at their final show ever, so that was cool. Uh, next to them that I got at Frankenstein's as well was uh, Lemmy from Motorhead. Lemmy Kilmeister. Love that guy. Great bass sound. Great songs. And next to him is their mascot, which is actually entitled War Pig. So I had to have that. That's a cool set to have right there. Up on the next row, Lady Justice from Injustice for All, Metallica. Great, great album. Great uh, mascot for the album. And of course, you guys already seen these bad boys. This is my Eddie's from the Iron Maiden first four albums. We have Peace of Mind Eddie, Iron Maiden Eddie, um, Killer's Eddie, and Number of the Beast Eddie. Some of my favorites. And up above them, we have the Metallica ones. We have Kurt Hammett, James Hetfield, Lars Ulrich, and Robert Trujillo. And that is pretty much my whole Funko collection of all the horror pops that I have. Um... I'm really trying to accumulate more of the horror ones. Obviously, as you can see around my room, that's all like DC. Those are all my big ones in the middle. That's all like MCU. More over there. This is all this shelf is mostly Star Wars. I mean, I even have some of my room. So there's a lot to look around. But yeah, that's my horror pop collection updated. Hope you guys enjoyed that video. Leave a like if you liked the video. Subscribe and hit that bell notification to be aware every time we put up a new video. And follow us on social media at Knights of Horror on Twitter and the Knights of Horror on Instagram. Until then, we will see you guys in the next one.